Part two of Sufjan Stevens and To Be Alone With You. You are capable on fret three, you are in standard tuning. If you watch his live versions, he capos on four, but we're going to go with his recorded version. We're going to start out at the chorus. You're going to end up on F after the main riff. Let me play the main riff one time. And then we go into the chorus, to be alone with you, G, F, A minor, that's a D with an F sharp, so let me go over that again, you're going to start on G, don't do the big G, you don't have to play the whole way through the chord. bar chord F, A minor, make sure you mute the sixth string so that you nail that fifth string when you go to A minor. And your D with F sharp. On a live version, I see him playing the D like this, you can do this. But I don't really hear the top note in the recorded version, so I just do an easier way, the one that won't be so difficult to get to, and that is second finger on the sixth string, second fret. The third finger's on the second fret, third string. Pinky's on the second string, third fret. Back to F. Then you're gonna go to... Then you're going to go to this C chord, this folk C chord, which has the G in the bass. And then you're going to resolve to a G, but he really just hits the bass note there. And then we go back to the main riff. Okay, here is the second chorus. So you're going to start out the same way you did the first chorus. F, A minor, D, F sharp, F. surprise chord at the end of the chorus. So what he does is instead of going to a G, he substitutes E minor. E minor and G are related chords and can be substituted for one another with great effect if you do it in one of your compositions or one of your songs. So that there's no confusion on the strumming pattern, let me go over that. Just like the intro, it's almost the same strumming pattern with the chords. Up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Once again, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now if you have a count, it's my foot. So 
give me two downs. Let's add an up to it. Down, down, up. Plain old down, up at the end. Down, up. If you want to simplify it, do two downs, do two ups until you're used to it. Because this pattern comes up all the time in songs. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, miss. Down, down, up, and miss that. Then go up, down, up. Miss, up, down, up. Another little riff in there. Okay, so go to the fourth string, hammer onto the second fret, then the third fret. Then go to string two, fret one. That's C. If you're not used to hammer ons, you can do the picking, but it doesn't sound as good. And then go to your open fifth string, and then to the open third. If you need to practice that, practice it. You're definitely going to do hammer-ons in your future playing the guitar. And then you're going to land on fret two, string four. Another hammer-on, open G, open third string, land on the four string second fret. So let's do that outro course one more time. Two rotations. 